Hello everybody, welcome to Rimrov's Pencil Drawings. For the last few weeks I have been working on a pencil portrait of Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, it's been quite a few years that I worked on a, a portrait of a person actually. So uh, I thought I'd take on the challenge and draw a celebrity. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch as Sherlock. I love Sherlock. So I wanted to explain a little bit how I how I draw all the details in his face, the um, pores, the eyebrows, and the wrinkle here and there. He's still quite a young man, so. He doesn't have many wrinkles, but if you look close, they are there a bit. And also the texture of, of his scarf and his coat. It looks very complex, but actually it's, it's not all that difficult, to be really honest. Um, I'll first show you what I've been using as a, um, a reference. I've been using this. Have it on my laptop. We're using this as a reference. This photo. Try to add a little bit more contrast to my own drawing. So first, I'll um, I'll show you what I've been working on now. What I'm working on now, which is you see that I'm almost finished. So I'm working on the coat here. Um. To, to create the texture of a coat like this, it is actually, it looks difficult, but actually it's not all that difficult. Um, you can see also in the reference photo, I hope I can zoom in, that you see, you see a pattern, that there are lines going like that, that way, and also lines going like, like that way. I hope I can show it correctly like that so I've been doing the same there I just made a bit of a pattern like that I haven't been doing it there there I just did it without drawing a pattern first but I'll show you how I plan on creating this actually I don't really look at the photo at all while I draw this I just just fill it in like this you just leave the light parts open where I drew the lines that's where I make it dark so that's how I create it like that just you want, to, you want to make it look like it's knitted, so you want to create little strokes like that. You don't want to create it too obvious because it's just a pattern. how I create the pattern of of his coat. I think it's a pea coat. I think that's what it's called. See it it's actually not that difficult. It's not like I spend like hours and looking at the photo and creating every detail I see. I just make an indication of the pattern of the coat and so I and then the next line I do this with a 4B pencil because it has to be quite dark over there actually this is just as dark so I have to make it a bit darker but 
I'll do that after everything is finished. So I also want to show you the face. How do I create the wrinkles and, and the texture of a face? And actually I found out that it's not all that easy, especially with a, a younger man, because he does have wrinkles and pores, but you can't draw them too obvious. Because of my autism, I have an extremely detailed view of everything. When I go back to the to the internet, the photo I found on the internet. Um, I hope I can show you. If I zoom in a bit like that, you, you see a lot of things going on in a face. There's so much going on. In, the, in in that face, there's so many uh, little bit darker spots and, and wrinkles. You can also see that the wrinkles are not really lines, but rather dots than lines. And I, I see all those details so extremely clear. And if I if I draw them exactly the way I see them, then on my drawing it looks like he has some kind of skin disease so in my drawing I have been erasing it a few times especially the right side of his face this uh, this side is quite dark and I find it uh, the more contrast there is in the face the easier I, f I find it to draw but here it's, everything is quite light and there isn't much contrast going on. And still you do want to create the texture of the face. And yeah, I, I found it quite challenging actually. Because as I said, I had to erase the face, the side of the face a few times. Because he, he, it looked like he had a skin disease. I'll show you a bit how I how I draw wrinkles and and, and pores. Um, if, if I try to zoom in as much as I can, while well, it's still being clear, as you can see, um, I've been drawing quite a lot of dots, just making dots. I think it's a bit difficult to see because the dots are really close together. But I've been doing it with dots, so you can especially see it around the nose. Actually, it's best to show it to you. It's a lot of dots. I think that way you can create this texture of, of the skin. Um, the wrinkles over here, you see the wrinkles. And with drawing wrinkles, it's really important that you understand how it works with lighting and, and shading. I'll show it to you on a blank piece of paper what the technique is actually. When, when you draw a wrinkle, and I do it a little bit exaggerating, not as much as I did it with the Cumberbatch drawing, but if you have a wrinkle, I'm going to take a different pencil for that. A sharper point. If you have a wrinkle, for example, a bit like that, um, it's never really a straight line. It's never really a line. You don't go draw a wrinkle like this. That's just going to look incorrect. So you want to make it a bit like this, like with like dots here and there. If the light is <coughs> most likely coming from above and so you want to uh, draw uh, shading where the light doesn't hit and you want to keep the paper probably almost white where the, the light does hit a face and you always at a wrinkle you always have the, the shading right above the wrinkle, a bit like that. So you draw 
I always do it a bit like that. But not too much, never too much, never overdo it. Because like I said, it can really look like he has a, a skin disease. If you do it too much. With older people, of course, they have deeper wrinkles. So, so you can go ahead and make it quite like that. But with older people, for example, working with dots, dots is good. With a lot of textures, I have found out. But with Cumberbatch, he's in his uh, he's like early 40s, I believe, or or just 40 years old. So he's, he's, he has a young face. So his wrinkles are not all that much. So you always do a bit like this when the lighting is coming from like like there, like the rays are shining that way. Zoom in a bit more. Of course, it's a bit difficult to see because it's just a wrinkle on a face on a, on a piece of paper. It's not a face as you see now. But if you look really closely, you can see that I did exactly the same as as, as these wrinkles here and that one over there. Also this wrinkle under the eye, you can see I did it exactly the same, it's always lighter under the wrinkle and right above the, the wrinkle you have the shading. And yeah like texture in a little bit of stubs or mustache kind of, he doesn't really have a mustache but he does have a bit of tiny hairs there you always make it a bit darker a bit more contrast in it here you can also see I did exactly the same with the wrinkle here it's a bit deeper a lot deeper actually here the wrinkle and then the shading is here it goes that way the, the shading and here it's light because here the light hits this part here also you see it very clear shading right above the wrinkle and here it's light so that's how I've been creating the texture of the skin which was quite challenging I think for me it's easier to draw an older person who has really clear um, like high contrast in his face so um that was it actually i hope um it was useful this um video and i plan on making a lot more videos like the details of the eye for example is good to explain so i hope to see you with my uh, next videos again bye